at the end of my last video, I told you I was going to finish this live oak vase. And I'm going to, just not in this video. I forgot that I bought this Fred Thompson scraper at SWAT, and I really need to get a handle done for it. So that's what this video is going to be. So check this out. done a handle video in a while I know this looks like wow that's kind of bent Billy how are you gonna make that into a handle well that's the goal got my face shield into the camera didn't I to so keep that from happening again take this to the bandsaw and cut that a little flatter and do the same thing there and then we'll start over okay I've turned it somewhat round except for right in here these splits go pretty deep so I'm gonna make this the bottom I'm gonna make this the top I've got something in mind so when I get set up for that I'll come back seriously Billy have you lost your mind yeah maybe just maybe Billy, you have lost your mind. Yeah, probably. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Y'all want it close, so I got it close. I only sand it at the 80 because I'll be sanding it more later. Now I go back between centers. Those cracks go a lot further down than I thought they did. Now I need to turn a tenon that'll fit that. First I need to turn a tenon for the chuck because I want to chuck this up.
want it to be too small like that I mean it was that close there's no wiggle in it epoxy will hold it go far enough on these two, too far on that one, this one was perfect. At least when I lay it down, it ain't going to roll. <laughs> okay, time to drill this out. Have I mentioned that this Texas ebony is hard? And I'm trying to drill in grain. That's really close. I could take this over here to the grinder and I could grind these a little more round. Alright, I want to take this down some more. a novel idea. It didn't play out like I wanted, but... I could turn that round once I epoxy it on, like I've done in the past. I probably will. Let me mix up some five-minute epoxy and get that in place. Okay, I've got this setting up. I'm going to let it cure about 20 minutes. I know it's five-minute epoxy, but I just want to make sure I get a good grip before I start putting any pressure on it. I will come back in 20 minutes and we will commence to 
sanding. Okay, time to sand this up. So I'm going to continue this process until I get this nice with 80 grit and then I'll go on to 400 and I'll come back when it's all sanded. I used some black and some medium starbond to fill some cracks and I'm going to give that a while to cure and then I'll come back and sand it off. Now I need to work on this thing. Stop there, and I'm not even going to sand it. So, I don't want to chuck this up on my oscillating spindle sander, and I'm going to sand this bottom up. All right, that's 400. I think this will do. Smooth as a baby's butt. So I dipped it in lacquer and then hung it here to dry. It's a semi-gloss, but I think it's still going to be pretty. So here's my new tool handle for my new Doug Thompson scraper. I mean, it's really not much. I mean, it's, it's just a tool handle, but I've got it done out of the way. It's epoxied in nicely, so this will get the job done. Now I can get on to finishing that live oak face. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.